Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is invading subscriber privacy. Today's kind of a sad day for U.S. consumers' internet privacy because today the Senate successfully voted to remove a rule that prevents broadband providers from selling your private information. Things like your browsing habits, uh, information about your, your finances, your, your health, and even uh, your children to any advertiser out there. Before that, there was some FCC rules that stated they had to have your permission to sell this information. Today the Senate voted to get rid of that rule. So if this also passes through the House, ISPs could then sell your information without letting you know at all. This is really horrible, obviously, for citizens' privacy. As one senator put it, ISPs should now stand for invading subscriber privacy. And I gotta say, that's really close to the truth. Now there's a lot of reasons why privacy is important for security, but I believe this is also going to affect everyone's security too. This is a major security issue. If you think about one of the number one ways bad guys get uh, users to put malware on their computers, it is spear phishing. It's sending very targeted emails where the bad guy knows a little bit about you and he has a customized email that you're more likely to fall for. What's to keep a cyber criminals from acting like advertisers and buying this information from the ISP? And then they have a whole bunch of information that they can use to target you for malware attacks. By the way, if you think this is unusual, it's not at all. One of the main threats out there today is something called malvertising. There are very legitimate advertising networks out there that will take money from anyone to get your advertisements on legitimate sites. So of course cyber criminals love this. They already use this to actually get their malicious code on sites. So I think it's very, very possible that if ISP starts selling this information, some smart cyber criminal out there is going to start buying it too. And then it won't only affect your privacy, but it will affect your security as well. By the way, if it's not already obvious, I think this is really a bad idea. And frankly, I think it goes against the common sense for the rest of the world. For instance, if you look at Europe, they already have pretty strong privacy laws there. And in fact, the talk of the town right now is something called the GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation, where they're even putting more strict rules around how businesses and organizations can use your personally identifiable information. On one hand, other countries are trying to protect our data. Meanwhile, in the US, it seems like the Senate is putting your data up for sale. In any case, I kind of think this is an issue that goes beyond partisan politics. It really does put people's security and privacy at risk. And I personally hope it doesn't continue to pass through the rest of Congress. If you do care about it and you live in the U.S., I recommend you contact your congressman to let them know what you think about this particular situation. Now, in case this passes, what should you do? How worried should you be? Uh, really, it means your ISP can sell uh, your browsing history to pretty much anyone they want to. And I do think that is somewhat of a danger. And frankly, I'm not sure all the different things you can do. On one hand, there are ways that people can already learn a whole lot about you. There's already tracking cookies and other things in your browser if you don't take precautions there. But I will say that if this passes, I will consider VPNing or using virtual private networks for all my traffic. Even though I don't have anything to hide from authorities or the government, I do want to protect my privacy because I don't want criminals to know more about me and customize their attacks against me. So really, you got to think about this beyond just the privacy implications, but the security implications as well. In any case, I guess we'll see how this turns out when it goes through the House. If you are concerned with it, contact your congressman. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.